The way rhythm works in music is somebody sets a rhythm, and then everyone else catches it, and they match it. And that's how music sounds the way it's supposed to sound. But music's not the only thing that needs rhythm. Our lives need rhythm. And could it be that some of our lives are out of rhythm? And just like my pastor friend, we think we're in rhythm. But in actuality, our lives are not flowing and clicking like they could and like they should. Well, God has a rhythm. He's got a rhythm for us to catch and a rhythm for us to match. He's on the drums, and his rhythm sounds something like this. Across all our campuses today, I want you to put your hands together with me. It goes like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, rest. One, two, three, four, five, six, rest. Six and one, six and one. One, two, three, four, five, six, rest. That's what God's rhythm sounds like. We're to work six days and then rest on one. Now, for some of us, we love to work, but we neglect rest. And your life sounds something like this. Others, we love to rest, but we neglect work. And your life sounds like this. Now, neither one of those are what you want your life to sound like. God has a rhythm for our lives. And when we discover a truer work and a truer rest, which is working for God, resting in God, we can get in the rhythm that our lives need. <laughs> 